I don't even know what the sound is. It's a weird robot duck. It's a it's a robot goose. You like my robot goose? Good morning. Sorry I'm a little late. Had to finish some emails. This one's Goosebot. Goosebot 5000. I should probably just name it that. Goosebot 5000. That's the name. All right. Goose cat. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Oh, boy. Oh, you want to remind people to stream Hybrid Theory 20? Okay. I checked in with the label yesterday, or I checked in with management asking to, like, how's the streaming numbers and all that going, and they didn't really have an answer. So it's a big mystery. I don't know. They don't know. Maybe they know, and they're just not there yet. I'm just so curious. Um, I mean, I, I'm sure they know things, but they don't know, like, in context to, like, whatever. In the context of, like, is it doing better than other things? I don't think they have a sense yet. I know. Give us specifics. Give us the deets. Um... <clears throat> oh, good to see some of you guys bought the, the box set. Cool. What's the 411? <clears throat> wow, you guys really did watch that guy. The guy, the, the fly. He fly in. He rub hands together. And as a dead man, and they smell like a corpse. 
No, I know I showed you. I didn't show you, show you. I showed you. I showed you most of it. With his crusty, crusty lips. And what are we going to do today? Kind of like. Kind of vibe is this? Wow, the rare on camera. Rare on camera sneeze. Wow. Excuse me. Does this thing not work? Um, I really am enjoying the, um, what's it called? The Super 8. The, uh, the sound you're hearing is a UVI, UVI works, workstation, um, plugin. But the Super 8 one from Native Instruments is pretty great. Um, so the UVI one is uh, uh, one of these guys, and um, so 80s, look at that interface, it's so great, and then the um, Super 8 was this one, percussion, huh, there's some percussion in here, oh that's percussion? Okay. Maybe that's a vibe. Whoa. Maybe. Oh, very 80s. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Maybe that's it. That's what I like about the Super 8 is it's so it's so 80s. A lot of the sounds. Let's go back to that other one. Let's go back to, uh, was it this one? Nope. One, I think it was one after this. Two after this. Dude. There it is. Yeah. Very 80s. Oh, the, the, the other one is so behind the beat. Let's hear the metronome real quick, just to... Okay, okay. <laughs> Wow, that a verse one is super late. Here, let's let's see if we can fix that a little bit. It's just a little too late. Yeah. 
Okay, might be better. Hold on. Okay, hold on. I might need to automate that guy. That guy's pretty great. Hold on. Let's find it. Is it in there? Okay, so remember we hit configure and then we grab the one and then we hope that it read it. Let's find out. It didn't. Ah, weird. Okay, how do I make it? Oh, wow, okay. Uh, really? Let's try it again. Is there another way? All right, guess we can't mess with it. Ah. I'm sure there's a way to do it, but... Um, let's put a, uh, let's put the realm, the realm. Yeah. All right, we're very, it's very, uh, 1987. <laughs> let's find some, uh, let's get some little drum beat, drum bits. I don't have, uh, should we just go full on with it? Let's not, let's not go all the way like 80s with the, with the drum sounds. I don't feel like that's the move. What did they not do in the 80s that we should do now? Try this district ze zeal. Let's turn these guys down first of all. They're very loud. I don't like those claps. Let's do let's skip the claps. Put a little bit, like a bit crushy situation. That's cool. That was interesting. <clears throat> second one's better than the first one. That's fine. Oh, that's cool. What's nice is these almost sound like the same kick, but this one's just brighter. Like it, like they unfiltered it, and this one's filtered. Version of the same thing. Maybe I'm wrong, but maybe I'm right. To all that. some snares. Whoa, what is that thing? Interesting. That's something kind of unique. It's kind of cool.
All right. That's some cool stuff. Let's find some weird stuff. Cool. Alright, that was everything for Zio. Right, let's find uh strike? What's this in the strikes? Uh-oh. Huh. How about a blip and blop? How about a drill? What is that? That's this little subtle noise. Let's see if it, one of these beats it. That's kind of cool. All right, um. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> who's Marie says you're, con uh, she's convinced that I talk to myself like this when I'm not streaming. I actually don't talk enough. Like I, when I'm like doing, even when I'm doing this and I get like in the zone, like I know, I like, I watch other streamers and I'm like, why do they, why are they talking so much? Like they're playing and they're doing their thing and they're just like talking and talking and talking. And I do not normally do that. I've actually, I'm doing, I have been trying to be more narrative as I'm like doing this. Because it's like, we got to lead you through this process a little bit. All right. Um, let's really get some chat. Um, some chat um, suggestions. Let's really let the chat help today. Um, let me do a, let me do a, a few, um, Holes here. Let's see. Okay, I gotta I gotta set up the polls real quick. So give me one second to do that. And let's see, we're gonna do first question is gonna be Do you want this to be a fast or a slow tempo? So fast would be gassed. Um, fast would be like, like that. And slow would be the half time. It would be, you know? I'm just saying, do I go, or do I make it kooky, like, or, or like, more, what would I call it? Uh, so we'll call that other, that type of thing that I did at the end. There's your vote. Go for it. Running the poll. So fast is slow is and then other is like Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds in. Fast is winning by a narrow margin. 
use Ammon Tobin's sample pack. Where is Ammon Tobin's sample pack? Is it a, a Native Instruments one, or do I have to get it somewhere else? The poll is under Control Plus, but it's over. So on your screen, on the purple Control Plus button, you click that, and uh, that's where it'll be. I. this little uh How the MPC 60 setting like makes it a little more gives it a little more like high mid range. And then these other ones should make it a little more almost like bit crushed. Anyway, I'm gonna do MPC 60. So there's our first beat. There's beat. Loop number one. And let's do second loop. Actually, for the first loop, maybe I'll make the muted, that more muted kick. And then this one, we'll make it bigger here. This is loop number two. And loop number two, See what can we add? What if I take these out? Kind of better. Filter out the bottom end of it. Like, so high pass means the high sound, 
passes above the filter. So if I turn this all the way up, I'm on the wrong sound here. Let me click on 13 and put a high pass filter on. So there you hear the whole sound. Hold. Solo it. And then if I bring the cut up, up, cut off up, it's cutting off the things below whatever frequency I'm at. And it's letting the higher stuff pass, high pass filter. And the resonance puts a peak at wherever that cutoff is set. So you'll hear it, really hear it when I start to bring this down. Watch. Actually, maybe if I leave it on, on mix mode, maybe you guys will get a different sense. I don't usually have it on this on the screen, but for right now, I'm gonna do that just so you guys can see a different, a different way of looking at the things that I'm always doing. So right here, I'll change it to AHD, which is attack, hold, decay. down a little bit. Number 14 there. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to pattern one. This is original pattern. Here's the second pattern. And I think I'm going to take that, um, this guy, how do I make it pan it to the left here? Make that pan. Can I only do it here? Let's pan this guy over. Maybe this guy needs a little bit of a uh, to make it more stereo. Is it clipping in your, is it too loud um, in your headphones? It's like, yeah, it might be clipping a little bit. I'll turn it down a little. Actually, if you look at the top, they would see it right there. I usually address that as I go. Um, sometimes the clipping is sounds nice, but I usually don't do it. I usually stay away from it hitting the red here. The places to look are right here and then right here. I suppose you could go too far on any of these like individuals. So like, you'll see it there, but this won't show red over here. It'll show red up at the top. Oh, and I was going to do um, on this guy, on loop two, actually on loop three, I'll do it. So pattern, I'm going to duplicate it and make a third pattern here. That is even bigger.
What's up, Raiders? Welcome to the track. Get this guy under control. And I'll go back to this uh, window so you can see what I'm doing here. A little late, so let's bring the... There. And then let's change the length of it. Maybe a little... Drive. Actually, let's do. Yeah, we'll lo fi it. That's kind of cool. Okay, so this is the snare kind of sound. Uh, I'm going to put that in MP60 mode as well. I'm going to give it a little EQ bump. Keep in mind too, this isn't a snare. This is the sound is like a is like a I don't know what this is. Here it is here it is alone. It's like almost like a like a mechanical like kick drum or something. I don't know. It's different. Let's put a crash. Let's put a crash and that crazy put both of those at the top of this. And let's double the whole thing. Well, do I doubled the whole thing and the crash happens at the downbeat right here. But that, but then not in the middle. So loop one was this. Oh, kick drum, yeah. I was gonna switch kick drums there. You're right. And second one. Let's turn the metronome off. And then the new kick drum. Switch. And that kick drum, I'll actually turn it up a tiny bit. And I'll turn my master volume down a bit so we're not peaking, we're not clipping. Maybe I'll actually compress this one a little bit. Actually, I just want to compress the one. This one. Drive, a little drive, maybe a little EQ bump. There it is. All right, so this is the bigger. How we feel? I want to turn this other kick down a little bit. Oh, maybe this one should be um, like verse two, um, and this one should be the most basic without even the hi-hat. So loop one is just kick, is just kick snare, KS. 
All right, cool. I wonder if um, let's work on the keyboard bits now. Let me actually, I mean, let me let me lay this out in in um, like the. the How long to make each of these parts? I wonder how the song should start. Shouldn't start like that. Hold on. Should it just be like without this? Uh oh, why did that not go? Oh, because we're in loop mode here. Okay, so then we're here. So look. This part right here lines up with that part right there. And then this lines up with start up at the top. This lines up with one. And that's happening there. I bet this is gonna need to go twice. That shouldn't come in here. This should come in here. Actually, let's go double on all of these. Actually, okay, I'll make it. I'll make all these parts quick. So we're gonna go same chord progression up till here. Should I do, maybe I should do a different chord progression for the, um, what if it just goes like this? Okay, we, the other day I started to make a clip in machine. Do we remember clips? Like I don't remember how to make a clip. I never figured out how to make a clip. Um, but I need to know how to make a clip. I wanna do clips, I wanna do like a fill. I wanna do, make a fill, hold on, let's make a fill. And then like a bigger kick. Boom, ba 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 ba. Maybe a tom. Something a little more electro. These are all floor toms. That's okay, these volumes are all crazy. And then maybe. OK, 
Okay, so how do I make a clip, you guys? Should we look it up? Let's look it up. Um, let's see, machine clips. Clips update. Five minute video on this? Oh, come on. Hey everyone, Brian here from Native Instruments. Hi, and Brian! I'm here to introduce an exciting update for Machine, which now adds the possibility of working on a song directly on Machine's timeline. Shut clips. up, bro. Clips are an additional way of working in Machine's song view or Machine's timeline without having to create scenes or patterns. Sick, Unlike bro. patterns, clips can be freely positioned and moved across the timeline. They can be part of a Let section. me guess. Based on what I just saw, I bet I hit record. Let's find out. Ready? <laughs> So let's go into the chorus. Okay, it didn't work. Convert to clips, bam. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so this guy. Wait, what? I don't want that. Oh, so it's like down here. No. Okay, it got weird. Okay, so let's let's undo all that and let's learn again. I was hoping that would be it. Span across multiple sections and even <laughs> exist outside of a section. Clips are also available. I just try to get ahead of Brian. Don't ever using clips don't ever get ahead of Brian. Free. I'll show you how to seamlessly integrate clips into Machine's existing workflow and how you can create a track just using clips. Shut I'll up! sketch out a couple of drum patterns and arrange them in song view. I have my intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus. Oh my god, so do I, Brian! Nice tambourine, Brian. I want to make a few adjustments to make the transition from the verse into the pre-chorus smoother uh -oh. and also going into the chorus. Ad break. If I were to, let's say, remove a few events what do we do? the pattern, these changes would take place. What do we do? We run an ad right over top of Brian. Brian the brain. Big, bain, big brain Brian. Ad break over Brian. All right. Every time I use pattern two, as you can see. With clips, I'm able to make edits without you have to go watch your own of thing, of Brian. The now, first way I'll use clips is by converting a section into clips. Okay, when convert it, on the Brian. Verse section, I can select convert to clip. Yep. This will change all patterns in the section into clips just at this point in my track and won't affect any patterns in the later verse. Okay, tight. From here, I am free to make some changes. Let's remove the kick and the clap just before the pre chorus. Yes. I can simply hold the erase button and hold the pads to create mutes throughout the clip. Okay, got it. Wait, why would Let's you do a break? Just before the chorus and add a fill. I'll double click on top of the pattern and it creates a one bar clip. If there is a clip on top of the pattern, the events in the clip will play instead Wait, of the pattern what? at that point. Oh, I missed it. I missed that bit. Let's also cut out everything just before the chorus and add a fill. I'll double click on top of the pattern and it creates a one bar clip. If there is a clip on top of the pattern, the events in the clip will play instead of the pattern at that point. Okay. Oh, and then he moved it to, got it. That was a really sloppy What's fill, that? man. Okay, so if I that means if I go right here and I just double click, no. I go here. How did he do it? It was down here? I don't know where. I thought he just did it right there. There's the chorus. There it is. But but I don't want it to be there. I want it to be down here. And that's the clip. And then I can move the clip? I can. OK. 
Okay, so that was my clip. Okay. All right, fine. That's cool. I liked that. So then in here, if I go here, can I do the same thing, but create a clip? But I want to convert it to clips, to clips. What if I don't wanna get rid of this? What if I wanna just do my pattern in there? I don't want clips mode. I want, I don't want clips mode. I wanna go back to normal mode. Ah. Ah. <laughs> this has gotten, gotten crazy. So now I'm pressing pattern, but I'm getting clips. I'm lost. I'm lost, Brian. Hold on. I'm going to undo because I don't want to do that. This was fine. This is great. I like this. So boom. Got it. Got my little, my little clip. Actually, let's do this. <laughs> Maybe one more. Move this guy over. <laughs> this is so fun. I love you guys watching me learn a thing. Okay, I like that. My problem is up here. So what I'd normally do is just make a new, well, I guess this loop happens both times. I don't need to, see the thing is they make this clips thing. Well, okay, let's learn it. Let's learn it just to learn it. I, I don't, I you normally would just I double the length of the pattern and then remove I'm my thing. make a new group and label this perk. To make a new let's go back. Let's go. clips just at this point in my track, few events on the verse pattern, these changes would take place anytime I use pattern two, as right. you can see. Correct. With clips, Got I'm it. able to make edits without having it affect the rest of my patterns. Got it. The first way I'll use clips is by converting a section into clips. Right clicking on the verse section, I can select convert to clip. Uh huh. This will change all patterns in the section into clips just at this point in my track. Yeah. It won't affect it any sure patterns will. in the later verse. From here, I am free to make some changes. But you Let's could just change it to a new pattern. For the pre chorus. I can simply hold the erase button and hold the pads to create mutes throughout the yeah, clip. Yeah, I get that, but Brian, come on, Brian. It's, that's not different than a- before the chorus and add a fill. I'll double click pattern. on top of the pattern and it creates a one bar clip. If there is a clip on top wait, of the wait, pattern- Wait, wait, see that, that's what I tried to do and it didn't do it. If there is a, and it creates a one bar fill. I'll double click on top of the pattern and it creates a one bar clip. So I, that didn't happen for me. Hold on, watch. I was here and I double clicked and it tried to rename it. Let's try it over here. Oh, you have to click on the actual pattern and you can move it around. Okay, got it. You have to click on the actual like dark part of the pattern, but you can move it around. How about that? We're learning big brain. Brian is teaching there's us things. a clip on top of the pattern. The events in the clip will play instead of the pattern at that point. <laughs> you damn right, Brian. That's right, Brian. I was trying to tell you, man. I'm trying to explain it to you, Brian. Big fill into a, into a hold your breath. Let's add in some loops and a riser. I'm gonna make a new group and label this perk. To make a new clip from the hardware, you hold shift plus pattern and then hit an empty clip slot, just like you would if you were using patterns. Now let's search in my loops area and find something. Shift plus pattern. I thought that's what I just did. Shift. Why am I in pattern? I'm clips mode again. 
How do I get out of clips mode? Okay, well, hey, maybe he'll tell me at the end of this. Shift plus pattern gets to clips mode. Oh, really? You didn't edit this part out, Big Brain Brian? From here, I can drag this loop into sound slot one, and you'll see in the software that the loop has been loaded into the audio engine. I can Why now move this clip to where I want on the timeline, press play, and hear it all. Whoa, together. he did it with the knob. One, and you'll see in the software that the loop has been loaded into the audio engine. I can now move this clip to where I want on the timeline, press play, and hear it all sync together. Yeah. It's very soulful, Brian. I can make a new clip and load up another loop into sound slot two. I'll make a new clip, drag the loop into sound slot two, and now it's ready to go. Yeah, it in is. In the area below, you can see the two loops and where they play on the timeline. I don't, I'm not understanding why you would do this instead of patterns, but okay. Like, why is this better than patterns right now? Why did we need a whole new thing? I also want to add a riser. I'll make a new group and label this SFX and add a one shot riser. I'll go to my one shots tab, filter by sweep and swell and find a riser. I'll drag this riser into sound slot one and then change this from the sampler to the audio module so it oh. keeps everything in sync. If I turn off or adjust my grid, I'm able to freely move this clip around, shorten it to any length to get everything lining up perfectly. Oh. Clips can function between two Big different brain. sections of the track. This riser has a tail at the end, so the main riser plays just before the buildup and then the tail carries into the chorus. Okay, so that's good. You can just move your audio around. So he moved that visually. That's that seen why you do that. Can function together. Another way is working entirely with clips. And to demo that, let's add some piano. I have a piano loaded in group D. I can just hit shift record for the count in and start jamming and the clip will continue to extend. Let's play around. Is he going to do it on the pads? He is. Brian needs to cut his fingernails. Actually, Brian's fingernails are pretty well manicured. They're just long. I like this chord groove that happened at bar nine, so I can adjust the start of the clip and the length. And now he knew he was doing a video to today. In the track, his Let's fingernails are clean. And to the pre-chorus as well, and they're round. Hopefully, Mine this gives you not. a good understanding of what clips are, how to use them. And but you didn't show me how to get out of clips flow. mode. For more information about clips, keyboard shortcuts, and Brian, just click on the link in the description. And thanks for watching. How do I leave clips mode? No, no. Oh. Really? Really, really? All right, we're back. His track sounded better than mine. I like his track more than mine right now. That's just, here's why. Here's why Clips is cool, I guess. All right. Yeah, because I can move it around. Okay, I like that. And I can make it longer and it can go over the boundary of that guy. Cool. That's cool. Um, problem is on my actual, on here, where I usually go to pattern, now I'm in clip mode and I don't know how to leave. Um, shift, pressing it doesn't work. Doesn't get me out of clip mode. What happens if I just click on a, on a pattern? Oh shit, that didn't work. Did I click on this? Nope, that makes a clip. Guys, this is not good. Undo. How do I leave clips mode? I'm stuck in clips mode. Um, he just said shift and pattern to go in. Wait, I just did it. Did I just do it? I'm in pattern mode again. 
That's so weird. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I guess I just click on scene to get back. What if I go into this and go into clips? Usually there should be like a way to, oh my God. I'm so, this is so weird. This is so frustrating. Okay, well, that's one way to do it. I expect that there's a way to do it that doesn't have to do with. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> um, there should be a way to go from, to, from pattern to, okay, well, if, I guess I'll figure this out later. <sighs> they had a piece of hardware that's right here, and there isn't a button on it for clips mode. There's a button on it for pattern mode, and they've decided to change to clips mode. I don't know what, there isn't a button for it. So it just starts to go into clip mode and then it doesn't come out of clip mode intuitively. Like, anyway. Um, so if I click up here, it goes back to pattern mode. <laughs> and remember how I said, like, I would just make a different pattern? Um, I'm gonna have to do that anyway because actually what I'll do is I'll do this, which, okay, hold on, I'll show you what I'm doing. Um, I go to my pattern. I double the length of the pattern. As you can see now, up here, it's one solid orange thing. Down here, it's twice as long. And then I would just put my fill over here and it would happen here and it would happen there. Uh. So that's what all I wanted. All that, just to say, all of that, even though this is like, this is pretty un, um, un, unnecessary, but. Kick goes away. Yeah, so that's what that is. And then if I click and drag, I can make another clip. Maybe I put a little fill at the end of the chorus as well. Oh, that's nice. I like that. Okay, that that's helpful. I can just click and drag and put little things that, again. Okay, cool. Maybe I want a new pattern there. Um, undo that. This clip, I want to make it... This is clip three. This is clip one. Got it. Okay. So these are all. Whenever I, cl whenever you click and click option drag, it makes a new, it like iteration of that clip, and it doesn't like this. If I change this loop up here, it changes it here too. Like that's referencing the same loop. But if I do a clip and I click and drag it, then it's a new instance. And if I change this one, it doesn't change those. So in other words, on this one, I can zoom in and do like change the pattern. So let's say I go, um, ba -ba, ba -ba -ba -ba. let's do this make all of these guys a little longer so I can grab them better. And then I'll go to, I'll do this. And I'll say da 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 da. 
these and can I change my preferences so that when I draw one of these it draws at full volume probably can can I change the color of this I can well that's good to know okay so the yellow one is this fill the other one is that fill all right um we learned a thing and now we need to find make a new beat over here It is a little tricky going to like between the machine with the clips and this. <laughs> ah, guys. So we basically got a drum machine going and two keyboards. In the bridge at marker number five, should we go to, um, yeah, that fill sounded great. Let's turn this thing, this group down. Um, second group coming down in volume. Um, control plus pull. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, that's where we are at that point in the song. Uh, have to decide if we're gonna go um, with a, what to do. Have to decide what to do. You guys are gonna decide what to do. Are we gonna go, um, what are the options here? Chill. Chill break. Are we gonna go Big beat, no uh, melody. So like a drum break. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna say the first one's gonna be chill music. Second one's gonna go be big beat, no melody, and the third is gonna be melodic bridge. So stay with the intensity of these sounds and then just change chords. Those are the options. The chill music one is going to be halftime. The other two are going to be staying in the same tempo as the, the thing. Your poll is now available on the control plus button in your chat. Purple control plus button, press it, vote. Um, let me know what you want to do next. Here's the, here are the current results of the poll. Chill music is up. Oh, no, Melodic Bridge. Melodic Bridge is winning 38 to 29. So Melodic Bridge means we stay the same tempo and then we change chords. Oh, it's killing. Melodic Bridge is killing them out there. Hover your mouse to the right corner of the stream if you are on a desktop or your browser window. If you are mobile, it's just in the chat. 
little button. But if you're on the browser, on your laptop or whatever. Um, all right, so melodic bridge. Let's see. Boom, boom. Let's do that. One, uh, oh, three, there it is. Okay, so that's my, that's gonna be my chord progression. It's just what popped into my head. Um, okay. And we'll have a new keyboard sound here. So the drum part, um, let's look at our, let's look at our drum machine. Okay, let's do a loop mode. Let's go pattern. Oh God, pattern, new pattern. What did I do a second ago? Yeah, something like that. pattern twice as long.
so there's our there's our like sketch of the bridge i think the bridge now needs like a big new keyboard sound something modern a little more modern than all this warmer Serum can either be really brittle and not so warm, uh, or it can be pretty, I can find some sound. So some of these sounds might be a little. No. No. Oh God, no. those in just so I don't forget them. the sound to be the sound I want. Let's find out. Okay, I don't like that it's panning off to the left side. Yeah, there's a, this is the pan. Let's get rid of that. We made the sound. I made the sound that I wanted to hear. Okay, so this is basically our, when it gets more full, a little more melodic. I wanted this to take over the space that was like, the other sound was kind of, that this guy right here, I don't want to hear meow meow quite as much. So now this is going to continue here. Now I need it to be here.
back to here and see if it works. This guy was the bridge, and then we need a chorus after that, and I don't know if the chorus we're going to do is, yeah, it's not quite big enough, is it? Let's do, what's the difference between these two? Okay, um, I think that the main thing is that this has to be in the whole time. So this chorus needs to be duplicated. And then this thing has to go away. And then that's got to be it. Another bridge there? How far, how long is the song? Two minutes. Let's do another bridge. Why not? It's a little much, but why not? Let's go higher here. Take all these guys and go up an octave. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. Right. All right, let's put some other sounds in now. Um, I don't know what. We'll find out. We'll find out. Should we do a little MIDI automation kind of situation with the, I don't know, the virus, Voyager? Let's do the, let's do the profit. Let's do the profit, guys. Bring it out. Bring out the profit. I gotta check the volume here. But I boom.
like that vibe. Let me put that in here. Okay, it's not. Ooh. Why is my, why is it not reading my, that's not good. Hang on a second here. It's not recognizing that I have a MIDI interface. I don't know why that is. Huh. Hold on, you guys. What is going on here? Huh. Maybe I have a problem. I don't know. I got to check my, we got some technical things going on today, don't we? Huh, that's weird. Oh, how do you plays music? Welcome. Welcome to the stream. I'm currently, I'm about to, um, uh, abort a, a situation where I don't know why my computer is not recognizing some of my gear. So I'm just going to like not deal. Um, <laughs> that's weird. I wonder if this is like a restart issue. Um, all right. So oh, yeah, I don't think it's recognizing it at all. See if I can fix it in audio MIDI setup. I don't think I can. Um, stuff is complicated, guys. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? Um, I wonder if this has something to do with the fact that I installed some stuff here. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, I'll do it. fix it another time. All right. So I will just. What will I do? I guess I can just play it by hand and kind of time. Stretch it. Oh, let's do that. I guess. All right, from the top, I guess. Uh, let's mess around. I think that was it. Let me just find the my best uh, version of that. I think I started, really started it over here somewhere.
Okay, so that was basically, this was basically the, okay, so this is basically the phrase, like, Uh, stop! <laughs> God! Stop covering up my profit zone. Okay, so that's it. And if any of it is like so offbeat that it's like annoying me, dude, stop machine. Hold on, I gotta. Problem is, every time I click on the machine track, it like goes to machine. So, okay, so here's profit. some more I feel like the intro the intro needs a th something to to like spice up this because it can't just be that it can't it can't like even if it was this I would like it better but I don't know you can hear how off that is now. <laughs> okay. Let me just see if there's another something. Maybe there's just like an intro, maybe there's just like an intro sound, like, for example, hold on, let me just make, let me make an intro over here, okay? Watch. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then it'll just stop right there. And we'll make a new thing underneath it.
wonder if that can go underneath verse two. can so one two three four okay so I just want to put that in the second half so this is and this is just the intro of the song oops there and then this thing that I made won't show up until verse two. Actually, maybe it'll show up in the second half of verse two. We'll find out. No metronome. Here we go. See, we're, we're always trying to push the envelopes of what modern music can do. Found myself in in the corner of a, of a disco in, in Brixton and. The music that DJ was playing is, is just, it's so offensive, it sounded so old, it just sounded like something from 1977, you know what I mean, so I don't know, I, I just felt like I, I needed to Make something that represented what me and my mates was, was listening to. You know what I mean? <laughs> what is that accent? This is the worst accent. This is just the worst. serum.
wobbling around a little too much. Let's find one that's similar but without so much wobble. There we go. Okay, where? There we go. So this is monophonic. to be a little less. What is it? Is this that me? Yeah, okay, I gotta go. Let's try that. Give it a little bass. Make sure to subscribe so you don't have to watch ads. See you guys in 60 seconds. So this is the serum base from the top, from the top.
You do your you do a little eighty shoulder dance with this one. Right? You gotta move your you gotta move your shoulders. You dance on the snares. Right? You shimmy. You shimmy. You snap when you do it? Get your 16 candles on. Oh, that's an 80s thing, yeah. You ever watch those movies? It's like, uh, what's, what's Homeboy's name? No, not the Carlton dance. I'm talking... Why am I blanking on the director's name? Say Anything, 16 Candles, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, Pretty in Pink, same director. What the fuck is his name? John Hughes. Ugh. Gotta get the Molly Ringwald dance. Look up Molly Ringwald dance. I'm saying. Do it. More Duran Duran. Okay. Maybe in this section we need like a little more of a um, like a little fatter snare. We find one. I can get rid of this this snare. Let's see analog. Interesting. These are just like the mute, the muted, like lower body of the snare. Like. Interesting. I don't think that's what I want. Though. Maybe that's it. But I'll have to EQ it. So remember I was talking about like with clips and stuff that I would do just make a new pattern. So you can see here I've got a bridge and then I've got a bridge again. So if I change anything here, it's going to change it the first time around, which I don't want. So I basically go into pattern and I write and I click duplicate and that makes it into a new pattern, which is called right now it's called pattern seven. So I'm going to go bridge two and on this bridge, I'll take I'm gonna turn this guy up to the snare that I want. Hold on. Uh oh. Don't crash. Press it or do a transient thing on it. Let's do compression first. And maybe EQ. Let's see enhanced EQ. No. Which EQ do I want? I'm gonna do fast EQ. I 
want to make it wider. Let's do that this way. Oh, computer's having a hard time keeping up. What I like about this spreader, um, stereo spreader, is that, so this up to down is like the EQ. So in other words, the lower frequencies aren't, it doesn't make the lower frequencies stereo, it just makes the higher frequencies stereo. So this is not as stereo, this is super stereo, and you make it lower until it's like, you don't, you know, the lower frequencies, a lot of times you don't want, and stuff like this, you don't want those to be spread out. Um, I don't like it. It's, it, it diffuses the like, to me, it sometimes diffuses the percussiveness of the thing. It just muddies up the track to my ear. Um, and you could like bring the width in here as well. But um, yeah, for this sound, I just want it to like lightly thicken up the snare. if this, if it's better to just do, have this go, instead of going along with that busy snare, to have it just go. Now I think I'd like the other way better. Okay. Um, cool. So, <laughs> I could, uh, I was just realizing that a very 80s thing that this is missing. It's 
start from the top and figure out what. Let me just think about this here. part over that.
not my best like solos, but I think it actually fits. Like weird stuff in there, but. put the uh, I'll put the little compressor deals on it and uh, you know master bus effects and um, yeah maybe, maybe we'll do some uh, questions we'll do that today um, it always sounds better once you get the little master bus stuff on anyway let me just check that over top of this uh, loud part here Oops, the machine isn't in the group. There it goes. All right. listen down and we'll do some questions turn this up okay. actually that Juno has like a noise a constant noise going on that's not good there I fixed it um, okay. boom Loud.
requests here. Pulling out a bunch of the stuff from the last couple days, making some sense of it, hopefully, um, and writing down some of these art themes that um, you guys sent in. Um, let's see here. I'm going to put, I'm just going to loop this up. All right. So there were a whole bunch of, um, whole bunch of art theme redemptions. I'm just making, I'm trying to take notes of these guys and put them. I have like a, an ongoing like file of, um, all the stuff that you guys requested and stuff. So just trying to stay organized with that. Um, thanks for all the art theme recommendations. We've got some good ones for another day. At least five. Um, I'm not looking at the chat, so give me a sec. All right. Um, let's see. What do we got here with uh, questions to answer? Um, we'll start with. Uh, what do we start with here? Alexa sent in a question. She said, "Hey, Mike, how much money would you say you spent?" on hair gel during the hybrid theory days. Alexa, the um, the thing to remember is that we were buying the cheapest hair, hair gel. Because number one, that's just what we used. And number two, um, we were like always in the RV and always in the bus. So we didn't like have time to stop at like a fancy uh, hair salon. We didn't know where fancy hair salons were. So we just grabbed stuff at like the, the grocery store or the even like, I mean, if, if we saw some at like a gas station, we would buy it. <laughs> Gross, right? What is that stuff even made of? I don't even know what it's made of. Whatever it is, gross. I should go back to that. I should just go back to straight up like CVS gel. Do they even sell it anymore? I would have no idea. Dep. Totally. Dep gel. What kind of name is that? Um, Raya says, just wanted to say thank you for ne never failing to make me smile. I felt pretty down recently, but happy HT20 and go Lakers. I hope you're doing well. Thank you, Raya. Show Raya some love in the chat. Show Alexa some love in the chat. Um, Yas O says, hey Mike, last week's release and the box set made me feel like a, an 11 year old again. Any chance of seeing a similar re release from Meteora in three years? Also, I'm proud to be part of the LP family. Awesome, thank you. I don't know, uh, I don't know about Meteora. I feel like if we do that, if we do 20 year anniversaries for things we keep doing them my concern so my my um the uh, the upside the plus side is that there's probably we could probably put together great packages for each of them problem is when you get to by the time you get to like what would it be around somewhere around collision course then you start overlapping with the 25 year of hybrid theory 
and then the 25 year of Meteora on top of the 20 year of Minutes to Midnight and you know what I'm saying? So like we would have to stick to like, we're just doing 20 year anniversaries of things. Um, you know what I mean? I We could do it. I mean, we'll see. It's, you know, if this hybrid theory one goes so well and everybody's like, we're, we need a Meteora one. Um, then maybe that's, maybe that's the thing. Um, <laughs> Janae says that she's been told she looks like me, <laughs> LOL, but it's a compliment, by the way, I don't see it, but uh, do you believe everyone has a doppelganger? Congrats. Sure. I mean, like, look, I know that, um, like having been in a lot of, like, first of all, having done a lot of meet and greets, um, there's always like once in a while, there's somebody that are like, Hey, look like Joe. They look like Brad. They look like, like, it's like, you know, sure. I believe in doppelgangers because I can't tell the difference between Brad and Rob. Uh, Brooding and Anna says, you're a big basketball fan. How does it look like when you watch a game at home? Do you wear all the merch? Do you cheer loud? Um, I'm not super loud. Um, only when it's like really crazy, I might be like a little loud. But um, I'm not like a scream at the TV and throw things kind of person. Um, hey Mike, oh, uh, Abaru, Abaru LP says, hey Mike, thank you for remastering all the hybrid theory videos to an excellent quality. Is there a chance you can do the same with It's Going Down? Um, I don't, I didn't do it. Like the, the label just like had the idea and, and did it. Um, probably with management, I would imagine, but um, I wasn't really part of the process because there was nothing for me to do. Um, and I don't know if other guys, like maybe Joe was more involved. I, I have no idea. Um, and it's going down as a weird one too, because it's with the executioner. So I don't know, I don't know actually where that video lives in terms of like who has the master copy of it or quality, you know, the highest quality version of it. I don't know. Not sure. Um, good question though. Um, I don't know if it's A13 Ride or A Bride. Her name is Andrea. Thank you for everything. Um, why did I hear the demo version of Points of Authority when it, Hybrid Theory first came out? Was it released that way in Canada? I learned all the lyrics with You Reap What You Sow and had to relearn when streaming started. Well, if there was if there was an earlier version out for at a period of time, like it it was a mistake by somebody. I I or you got a I mean, I don't know, were you listening to it on the radio? Like what, did you download a copy? It I I'm I imagine that what happened is you downloaded a bootleg. Like you were on you know, Napster or LimeWire or whatever and you downloaded a version and then it was the it was the boot it was like a bootleg older version. That's my guess. That's my best guess. Um, do, uh, LP Live via Glass Castle's official ask, is there any insight or interesting stories behind Dilate or could have been? I think we talked about them in interviews lately um uh dilate was one of the first demos that i did with my friend mark and it was at that point it was certainly just me and mark that was the band like there was no band it was just me and mark making stuff and we made dilate and death test and 
at some point after that stick and move. I think there were a couple other tracks that we doodled, like doodled around with and didn't release or didn't we hate it or whatever what it was, but um, the, um, stuff that we didn't finish, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I think most, I mean, I think most or all that stuff is out. Like it's all in the hybrid 320 or it's in the LPU or whatever. Um, the dilate was that early. Um, and could have been, oh, did you say she couldn't? Could have been. I don't know what kind of. Should we listen? It could have been real quick. Maybe I could tell you if I listen to it. What? What? I mean, sometimes it helps to like actually listen to. Let's look it up. So this is off of Hybrid Theory Twenty. This is an old, this is when Chester first joined the band, like essentially. What do you mean that you don't know? It's obvious you think you do. You think it's best to choose only that's afraid of what's right in front of you. So that's just, Live, that's live guitar, mic'd up, MPC for all the rhythm tracks, and then bass through like a bass pod uh, emulator, like like loading the little like laptop ones, I think. We were just using like an SM58 mic. Yeah, this is not live drums. This is MPC drums. Yeah, this is an early Chester. Like, it was early Chester demo. We were playing around with the back and forth. So... I'm gonna, I think this is the one with the crazy bass stuff at the end, right? Yeah, so this is when we first tried out um, this guy Kyle as a bass player. David left. So this is Kyle at the end. Like he was real, he loved like Primus and like slap bass stuff, so he was gnarly. His, he loved all that, like super fast slap bass stuff. So I thought, like, let's give him a bass solo spot. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, that solo was Kyle. Um, and that was interesting. I actually thought we weren't going to be able to put this track on the uh, Hybrid Theory 20 uh, box set because it was, um, yeah, because I like I, we haven't talked to Kyle in that long, so... I was like, I don't know how you're gonna track that guy down. Like, good luck. <laughs> and I don't know if he'll approve it. Like, he might be like, give me the whole, give me all the publishing. Like, I wanna, I want 100% of the publishing, or else you can't have the song. Um, and he was apparently. I mean, I have to imagine he was cool because it all worked out fine. I didn't. I actually didn't talk to him. Um, but yeah, that's that. That was that era. Like, it was like very much in transition. And uh, Chester was like pretty new in the band. Um, let's go back to our jammy jam. Um, Melodical Madness says, this isn't really a question. I just want to say thank you for an amazing celebration of private theory and for just being you. You're wonderful. You're a wonderful human being. I appreciate what you do. Thank you, Melodical Madness. 
G. Goncalves. Oi, Mike. Mumu and I have an important question. Who did the bass solo for Could Have Been? Can you believe that just happened? Um, an incredible solo. Extremely hard. I tried to play. And so far, I failed. Thanks for everything. It is hard. He's just going off. It's pretty good, like, you know, slap bass solo. Um, Ocean Eyes 79 says, Today is my birthday. My treat yourself birthday food is sushi. Do you and your family have any special birthday traditions? We actually don't. I mean, we just, we usually just, it's all about like, you know, a little celebration, a little like dinner together. Um, sometimes like occasionally breakfast in bed. Um, but yeah, we've done everything from like, you know, um, did I ever do Disneyland for a birthday when I, as an adult? I feel like I did at one point, but we don't, I mean, so, it's always something different every time. Um, ranging from just go out to dinner or have dinner at home or like I, at one point we rented out a laser tag thing and played laser tag. One time we did, uh, um, yeah, yeah nothing, nothing, nothing like, like yeah, no traditions. Uh, Bertone P is asking about extensions for the chat. I will look at what you're talking about later. Thanks, Bertone. Asking about BTTV extensions for the chat. I'll check it out. Um, <laughs> Emily LP wants an MTV Cribs tour. Mike, pretend it's like it's the year 2000 and give us an MTV Cribs tour. I'm sorry that's not going to happen, Emily LP. Gotta draw the line somewhere. Matthew LPU says, hey Mike, I wanted to say thank you for the stream on HT20 and release day. I was blown away. I was absolutely blown away by the performance. People were going crazy and spamming like they had found the cure to COVID. <laughs> that's funny. Um, brooding and Anna's boo it's spooky season you and Anna shared the before shared before the pictures of the skeleton dude you have could you tell us about them where did they come from and what is their what's their name um we don't we have a bunch of different like little skeleton decorations for Halloween and um they don't I mean, they generally don't have names and they generally are like, you know, they go out for the month of October. Um, we have like a little dog one, a, a full grown like skeleton person one, a couple of birds. I think there's a cat. I think there's a mermaid, a little tiny mermaid one or something. I don't know. It's just stuff that you like find at like the Halloween shops around LA. Rosa the Wolf says, hey Miguelito, thank you for everything you're doing. It keeps me going. You are awesome and wombats too. Rosa the Wolf. Um, LP EV Hybrid says, when I was 12, I always wanted it to be able to send messages to my favorite bands and I can do that now, but I'm completely blank on what to say. Have you ever been starstruck before? That is a great question. I, I, I always play it cool, but um, I don't know who I met that I was a little bit like, whoa, Bono, Sting. Um, uh, Paul McCartney, Jay. Yeah, there's been a lot of times, but never, not usually like, uh, not usually like, oh my God, more just like, I've got to be professional because, you know, 
I have to. The band would usually send me into situations. It could be me and other people. Um, Rakim, yeah, oh God. Super nervous, but he was so, he was really dope. He was really like, puts people at ease, even though like when he came to the studio, Rakim, people were like, whoa. And even if they weren't, I feel like even if they weren't like, um, super duper like rap fans, they were like, cause that guy, not only is he a living legend, but he's also very, he doesn't travel by plane ever. So you don't like, People in LA, they don't get to see him. They don't, unless he's in town, unless, you know, he doesn't see people. He's just very low key and like, he was awesome. Um, Black Sheep Aesthetics says, hey Mike, thank you for your art and everything you do. Much love from Albania. An Albanian singer covered Given Up his name is Eugene Bush Peppa. Please check it out. Should we look at it? Albanian giving up. What do you think? Yeah. Sure. Eugene. We're not going to listen to the whole thing. Right. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? that note, huh? Yeah, he can really hear his accent right there, huh? little more like it's a little more glam a little more the scream is great he's gonna crush the scream I can already tell just based on the way he ended those courses yeah I knew it it sounds good Let's see how he does with the last one. Sounds like 90s metal. He lost the intensity of the scream there. It got thin. You hear what I'm saying? He did great though. That was good. I liked it. It was good. Um, yeah, nice. Nice job, buddy. 
Uh, I mean, you can imagine how many. I've, I've heard a lot of covers. I've heard a lot of covers. That was cool, though. Uh, Omni Panda says, hey, Mike, has label being labeled a certain genre, whether by media or even management, ever felt restrictive to you? Thanks again for the streams. Our management never would do that. They they have uh, any manager we've ever been with knows knows that that's not a thing to do. Um, and the only time that would ha would happen is when like. Um, like when you're submitting a song for like streaming services, they don't allow uh, you to submit it in more than one genre. So like you could be fucking crazy and just be like, you know, our song is make believe genre or our song is, you know, I don't know, Samoan folk but you're just hurting yourself at that point. So the, the thing that you have to do is basically just do, just put it under whatever is the closest to your genre. So we usually would put, usually would put alternative. Usually. And I feel like it's a broad enough category. Um, Seashells LPU says, hey Mike, how are you? HB20 on Friday was great. I think she, this may mean HT20. Um, oh, hey. What's up? Ignore you? Okay. Anna says ignore her. Um, I'm sorry, Seashells. I don't understand the question. Friday was great. It is a thing of the past, not even mentioned in the today. Disappointed. It's birthday, not even till 24th. Anything else planned? That was the post. So I don't know what that means. Um, I'm going to return that question. Um, Tyler... Um, Berlono, Tyler Lyle says, if you were 20 and not so musically talented, could you imagine doing Twitch for a living? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if, if I didn't have anything else, if I, didn't, if I wasn't a musician, I don't know how I would do Twitch. I can't imagine it. Um, let's do two more questions and then, um, and then uh, do a raid. Joe Halpin says, not a question, just an FYI about Among Us. When the alarm is going off, go to the arrows to complete the critical tasks. You don't lose. You give me anxiety watching you play. Joe, I usually just assume that somebody else is going to handle those tasks. <laughs> I'm just trying to do my own thing because like everybody rushes in there and I feel like that's what the imposters want you to do I feel like that's what the imposter wants you to do I don't want to go in there and have the imposter like waiting for me and then like kill me I don't know should I not Does, do the rest of you always go to the go to the like oxygen thing when it's if you skip it you seem to be the imposter okay okay good point good point, good point. okay fine I'll run to the, I'll run to the oxygen next time. Run to the oxygen. Mm. 
Mitriora says, thank you for making quarantine easier. What's your MBTI personality type? I, she, she, she's at INTPT, INTPT. Um, I think I'm an ENTJ, but the E is, I lean towards the E. I'm not a super duper E, but I'm a, I'm an E. And the J, I don't remember what the J is all about. Um, R Nana says, thank you so much for your streams. Could you give a shout out to my husband, Giannis? It's his birthday. Have a nice day to you and all the wombats. Giannis, happy birthday. Um, thank you guys very much for watching, for hanging out today. Um, I'm going to take a peek and see if these, uh, Raids are available. Art of Lee. Art of Lee is available. Cool. Art of Lee is making a dragon, it looks like. Um, enjoy that. We'll be back tomorrow with some more music, I think. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I like this, like decide the morning of situation. Um, enjoy the raid. I'll see you guys tomorrow.